Freddie, this your first Six Nations. Must be a very proud moment for you. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, uh, it's the Six Nations is a, is a brilliant tournament, and it's it's one I've watched since I was a, a little kid growing up. So, you know, to have the opportunity now to to represent my country in the Six Nations, you know, it's an unbelievable honour, and I'm I'm really excited. And I saw after the Australian game, a special moment for you, you hugging your granddad. How big a impact has he had in your career? Yeah, he's been fantastic. You know, him, my mum, dad, brothers, you know, the whole family has been unbelievable. And, you know, to, to make him proud and to make them proud is, you know, it's one of the reasons you, you do it. Um, and it's a massive motivation for me so that, you know, it would be special, you know, to, to represent England in the Six Nations and make them proud. And can you believe you're in this position so early on in your career? You're just 21. I can't honestly um, you know when I think about it like that it, it is it you know it's a bit crazy um, I remember two three years ago I was just coming out of the academy and I wasn't wasn't really very well developed you know I was very skinny very you know tall not very well coordinated and you know to be sat here now in this position is just you know ridiculous it's been an unbelievable two years you know it's been been an awesome journey and I'm, I'm really looking forward to see see what else happens. You said that there a couple of years ago, you were in the academy. Jordan Murphy, from an Irish perspective, how big an impact did he had in your career? Yeah, brilliant impact. You know, Jordy was was the head coach as I was graduating from the academy. Um, and he's obviously a guy who's played fullback for Ireland, I think over 70 times. So, you know, he was a, an incredible source of information um, and had a massive impact on on my early development um, as a 15, you know, with, with everything, with kicking, with highball stuff. You know, he, he was a brilliant guy who helped me a lot um, and, and I'm very grateful for that. Do you think it actually helped you that you actually started younger as a 10? I think so, yeah. There's definitely skills at 15, you know, that that sort of at 10 are, are helpful as well. So I think that skill set um, has, has definitely helped now moving further outside. Just moving on to the weekend, Scotland, what a place. Murray Flail, Calcutta Cup, it's going to be pretty special, isn't it? It's going to be unbelievable, yeah. It's 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 something the boys here are really looking forward to you know we're really excited about the game on Saturday um, the occasion you know it, it's going to be a cracker so we're looking forward to it and has there been much mentioned from last year's defeat and what a motivation factor that would be to go out there and beat them um, not too much we're, we're trying to you know focus on this year um, and what's in front of us I think you know sometimes if you, if you look too much in the past you, you tend to get distracted on the you know, the current week. So, we're, you know, we're just really focusing hard on what we can control and what we can do this week. The guy who will be orchestrating things for them, Finn Russell, how do you prepare for a guy like him, Freddie? Is a situation this week where it's Marcus and George putting kicks in behind to test you? How does it work? Yeah, Finn's a brilliant player. You know, he's, he's got a lot of tricks um, and it's something, you know, we have tried to, to replicate in training, you know, and as a fullback, when you're opposite a, a 10 like Finn Russell, you've got to be on it for 80 minutes. You know, you can't afford to, to slack off or or switch off. So um, there's a back three, you know, we've, we've been really sort of pushing that that attention this week and, and being switched on at all times and trying to sort of counteract that that bit of magic he has. And with Marcus, especially for you guys at 10, attacking rugby, is that what we can see from England in this competition? Yeah, no, we've been working very hard on our attack. Um, it's, it's something we've been developing really well with Gleese now in as, as the attack coach. Um, you know, we've been training well and, and we're really excited to, to, to showcase that. And do you yourself, I know you're going to say you don't, but do you look for in the future that, you know, 21, you have a real chance to make the 15 jersey your own? I know Elliot's included in the squad, but Anthony Watson's injured. Do you just see it next game at a time, as you're going to tell me, but do you look, look, this could be my chance for the next five to 10 years? I've got to choose the, unfortunately, the boring answer, but no, it really is just game at a time. Um, you know, like I say, when, when you start looking too far ahead or too far in the past, that's where you start to sort of take your focus off off the here and now. And and the here and now is the most important thing. So, you know, it really is just a case of, of next game, next game. And, and all I can do is, is do my best as it comes and, and then see what happens. And finally, do you think this England squad you're part of, it's obviously growing for this Six Nations and the World Cup in 18 months down the line. But do you think this squad is growing to win trophies or hopefully win trophies? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we, we want to compete. We want to be the best in the world as a squad. Um, and that's something we're aiming towards and something we'll work really, really hard to achieve. Um, and every campaign, you know, it's, it's a big focus for us. So, you know, we'll give it our all. Lastly, you just said there, sorry, you want to be the best in the world. Is that chatted about from Eddie and, the, and brought down into the group? 
Um, it is a little bit, yeah. It was when the new squad came together. You know, that was the the overall target. You know, we want to be the best in the world as an international country. You know, that's that's the big aim. Um, and, and every campaign we get together, we want to, you know, get as better as we can. You know, well, there's a lot of potential in this squad, and the, and the challenge for us now is, you know, maximising that. Um, so we were going to work really hard when we're in camp, and, and that's the the aim. Pretty brilliant stuff, and all the best for Saturday. Thanks, Stuart. Appreciate that. Thanks very much.